My time was 48 days, 8 hours, 22 minutes. I did another fourth time. Every year it was different from, the, from my experience. I enjoyed every race. <laughs> Two years ago it was very hot. This year it was hot but very humid. But these are just the, the outer circumstances. For me it's like an inner journey, like a, a long, let's say a long meditation. And I try to go over the mind into my spiritual heart will go just over the mind and and stay there with my consciousness so otherwise like um, the mind starts to doubt why I'm doing this and uh, it's so painful and and yeah so forth so my job is actually to stay happy and go over the mind so I enjoyed it very much For me personally, it's the main preparation is actually mental. It's like somehow that I uh, go in that energy from the race inside. I, I go there inside and I try to feel what's going on and like inwardly I, I, I end up preparing more that, that thing or more that thing like also like the healthy point like that I make me strong that I make me more healthy for the start but of course like the other part is also like the, the running preparation I do not run too much but every four weeks average I do really a long intense weekend like with 110 120 k's and at that period actually like I, I, I train every day like between 10 and 20 k's and this of course convinces also like the mind like I did my duty so now it's the race I I'm good I'm fully prepared so I go for it it's very simple but it's never easy <laughs> I have generally every day like a little bit up and down but generally I'm lucky I have more ups than downs I try to inspire myself more I mean once I was eating or drinking a little bit a bad thing and adjusted that day like the temperature went up and it was it got very humid so I I had really to take a, a very easy day I was able to sit for a couple of hours in a air-conditioned car because it was so hot and then over the next two days I came easily back at that time actually I felt inwardly like everything is fine you know it's just like okay it happens but now I have to give my body like a little bit time to come back to my good average let's say the second time there was like um, I got knee pain really intense knee pain and I knew immediately okay this has something to do with the shoes I changed the shoes uh, but there was something else like from the mind hanging like he wanted let's say to take the possibility to slow me down to walk more and this this went on for two days and this was very um, intense so I was just walking I was trying to run but the, the knee pain was sometimes so tough that I even could not actually walk For me absolutely the meditation is like absolutely essential for me to be able to run in this race it's like yeah as i said in the beginning like for me it's actually a long meditation i try to to go into my spiritual heart and be there or go just over the mind and kind of enjoy it and don't go too much into the into the physical consciousness because the physical consciousness has this pain. I mean, I had like every other day, like a little bit knee pain, but it was not too much. I had a little bit this problem, that problem. Of course, I'm also a little, a little bit tired, but I kind of made a promise because I started the race. So I, I finished the race. So I go on and I don't slow down because of, of I'm tired. I mean, I'm tired also if I sleep an hour more, I'm still tired. So 
the only thing is actually like I try to be happy and going through so that I, I reach the finish line and then I can take a nice rest. <laughs> it was incredibly beautiful. It started a little bit before, like a few laps before, or like a few hours before, and I, I, I felt just like I'm, I'm in peace, I'm just peace. It's not just around me, it's also within me, and I, I finished and it was just like the whole life somehow was just perfect. I'm, I'm the most happy person on earth, so I, I, I did this incredible um, race. I could finish it even with a new personal best and yeah, there's nothing else you need actually at that point. You know, I take it as it comes, but I definitely have the feeling it was not my last time. I'm looking forward for it. I don't know when it will be, when I feel it inwardly, I will, I will be there and happily doing my best again.